Oh, don't you let it be a blue Christmas without an auction. Don't let it be a blue Christmas without an auction. Oh. All right, I'm done. Elvis. Everybody needs a little Elvis. Hey, look at that. Metal detector. Find some treasures in the dirt. This is going to be a good one. Make sure you hit this auction for your little Christmas break. Thursday night. Doors open at 5. Auction starts at 6. Look at all the cool stuff we have. Cool projector. Real clean. Look at that 8mm camera. Real clean. Nice silver plate. Sets there. And nice wood boxes. Clean. These are neat. Civil War and uh, cavalry type lithographic type prints. Probably taken out of a book at some point, but pretty cool. Some ephemera. This clock works. Works good. So does that radio. It's not on right now. Crosley and an old school one. Not one of those new duders. Brass deer and a beautiful very colorful uh, quilt all right well welcome to andrew tuner auctions and our little video hey are you into hummel are you into those little made by gobel or whatever those hummel collectibles uh we have a lot look at that Now, those who know, know which ones are worth tons of money, and some are not considered worth tons of money, because I don't know any about it. Look at all that. So we've got five rows of them. They're all the ones marked Hummel. So if you do collect Hummel, check out the photos. I, I basically took uh, photos of each row because there's no way I was going to multiple photos on each and every one. Um, we do have, uh, every Wednesday from 11 to 1, you can preview this stuff. So if you are a Hummel collector and you, you're looking for a specific piece and you're trying to see it in the photos and the video, uh, just come on down Wednesday or, you know, like I said, the doors open an hour early before the auction on Thursday. And uh, you can peruse over them. See, these didn't were not technically marked. They could be, I don't know, but we're like, if it doesn't have that mark, we're just gonna have it separate. And those plates are all the movie, the sound of music. Here's a nice pedal car. Look at that. Yeah, AMF Pacer. Hey, look, some yard art. That guy's kind of funny. He's got like hobbit feet. <laughs> nice crystal up there. I'm going to show you some. We have a lot of crystal. If you're into crystal, we got a lot. Some pretty cool knives. We've got uh, magazines to various guns. There's 32 revolver shells in there, 30 carbine bullets. Uh, cool stuff. Some neat old phones. That sucker, that thing's cool. Awesome. Look at that cool old Oliver typewriter. Old! Back there's a nice ammo can we're throwing in that their military book. Just 1952 dated. So I thought, yeah, I just put the two together. This is another, a lot of this is stainless, some of it's silver plate. A lot of dishes in there. But a real nice box. I like that. With the drawer below and everything. Duck decoys. Wink, 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 wink. <coughs> Missed. Uh, nice foot locker. Named and everything. United States Marine Corps. This is a toy pistol. Uh, real nice shape. Some, an ammo belt back there. We think it's Italian. Pretty sure it's Italian. Nice metals. Militaria. 
This is an actual World War I German gas mask. And it's still supple enough for us to put it on this. It's a little front heavy, so it pulled the little head mannequin thing towards the glass, but uh, pretty dang cool. And that officer's hat back there is named, has a name inside. These are all 1967 dated pennants for all the NFL teams. And in fact, I tried to take a picture of all of them. Guess which one I couldn't find? The Kansas City Chiefs. Every other team is in here. But and that toy is awfully. That Wyandotte truck. Wyandotte made. Look at the paint on that thing. It looks almost new. Nice. Stereoscopic viewer doesn't have the front holder thing, but the lenses are in great shape. Real cool baseball. Uh, gosh, I forget. I, I know Nolan Ryan signed it. I think. Let me just read. Then. Rod Carew, Brian Downing, Dave Frost, Bobby Gritch, Carney Lansford, Don Baylor, Nolan Ryan, Joe Rudy, Dan Ford. Come on. That's a cool ball. Nice little Irish pub cap. And these are Japanese medals. Neato, neato. Look at this cool thing. Motors Auto Repair Book. Uh, for basically, you know, um, every make. I believe this book is dated 1951, but it goes. it's about ca fixing cars up to 1935. And there are some, you know, you got Auburn, Cord, Packard, all the ones that don't exist anymore. Awesome combat stamps we've had those before those are neat coins and coins for you coin collectors Christmas and coin town neat stuff here more medals these I think are like uh, NRA shooting medals um, competition medals Coins and money, money and coins. There's some sterling, sterling, sterling. Beautiful rings, more coins, real nice ones in there. All right, little costume jewelry stuff, some, uh, well, this stuff that we get every once in a while. I think it's marketing concepts. Get it hooks us up with stuff got some neat knives and brand new things that's kind of neat a TV jazz alarm clock hmm have to check that out got some patches real cool stereo here had it had it on all day works great turntable works great Pioneer Quartz PLL Full Automatic, I think a PL560. Yep. And then uh, Pioneer SX980. We still have the box. We still have the original bill of sale here from 1979. And this system cost $1,246.91 in 1979. This person was serious about music. <laughs> Because that's a pretty big chunk of change in 1979. You can buy a car for that. Uh, real nice system. Here, let me take the faceplate so you can go. Ooh. Real clean. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Got some cool model cars here. 59 Buick Electra 225. I think there's a Chrysler 300 in there. That Corvette. I wish I had this baby in real life. 69 Barracuda 440. All right. Nice silver plate in a really nice presentation case. Very cool. Cabbage Patch Kids. Remember many Christmases ago when people were almost killing each other to get one of these for their kids for Christmas. 
It was ridiculous. Funny. Now they're here at the auction. You can get one easy. Look at that real nice U UCLA pennant. And underneath that is some ephemera stuff that's dated. That's a real old pennant, too. You should check it out. It's pretty cool. Old American flag with an ammo belt. These books are all Kansas City, all about Kansas City stuff. Kansas City history. Neat. This is a nice stack of books there. Toy guns, a whole flat. All kinds of different toy guns. Some neat military type stuff. More ephemera. Cameras and batteries and things. Down below, these uh, sort of hardware sets are full. They, they, they're like full of screws and bolts and washers. And this thing's, this is a big old box full of the. And some of it's rather collectible. Uh, full of patches and everything. Those vests uh, for Boy Scouts. Boy Scout stuff. Alrighty. Matchbox cars. Neato, neato. Cool. Another ammo can. Old school Budweiser. Irish. You should get those. Hand them out to your friends. For St. Patty's Day. These are always nice to have for your displays, for jewelry. Records. Here's a lot of the crystal I was talking about. A lot of it is marked, does have stickers. There's Polish crystal, there's Waterford, I believe. There's all kinds of stuff. Some of it isn't marked, some of it doesn't have isn't signed. Look at those awesome decanters. These are neat also. Down below here we got some nice stuff. Statuary and all kinds of stuff. Well, let me do this. Let me go over here. We got giant parasol with butterflies. That's pretty cool. Back there, I don't know if you can see it, that's Kansas City map. Big old wrought iron door. Nice, look at that cool industrial uh, cart. And it happens to have a big old volume of um, Mark Twain books. Pretty much, it's gotta be like everything Mark Twain ever wrote. Got a real nice rug here. This freezer works perfect. Nice and quiet too. New GE freezer. All right, let's look at some of this furniture. I'll do my, like I normally do, bouncing back and forth between, look at these modern pieces. Check out the photos, if it has a stamp or a label, and that stool does. This, we couldn't find a label, but it's, those who know modern furniture will recognize it, I've been told. These pieces are French, made in France, very Fancy. Got some great art back there. Uh, I'll kind of touch upon some of it when we get up to it. There's a cart that's just got really great stuff in it. Um, we've been getting real good art lately. If you're an art collector, you should check out our auctions because we seem to be getting some good stuff. Real nice chair there. These are awesome. Kind of arts and crafts style. Almost have a Frank Lloyd Wright-ish look to them, in a way. Those are cool. Nice, nice, nice. I like these corner chairs. Look at that. They're comfortable to sit in, you know? Okay, so in this cart, uh, you can see uh, there's bugs. Uh, and it comes from a book long, long, long ago with, uh, you know, detailed illustration of the pupae and then it becoming a moth and uh, kind of Ottoman, you know, style, but they're, it's all insects. Uh, very cool original art in there. Paintings. Uh, up there, there's a tapestry. We have a number of tapestries. We have one that, I mean, that it is old. I'm talking middle ages old. 
uh, is probably just a section of a tapestry, but it's nicely framed. Um, I don't know if you can see this painting of a either a young man or a young lady with a like a little boy's type haircut, but that thing is ancient. And it is on, it's real deal, it's on old canvas. I could not find a signature. Uh, super old. Um, again, check out the photos because a lot of this stuff is the real deal, original. That is the tapestry I was talking about. Um, and it was purchased in Europe. Very neat stuff. Let's get back to the furniture. Look at that nice. We got some really good furniture this time. Nice stools. We almost always do get some really good stuff, but we have like a lot of good stuff this time. Look, we even made a little living room area back here. Two like, almost like theater seat, reclining, super comfortable cushy chairs with your really, really nice coffee table there that'd be nice in a little breakfast nook glass top little table there that's check out the photos for detail details nice 50s style table Some cool coffee tables big round ones to neat stools let me go down here that real nice chest it has a glass top we have a lot of stuff that has glass tops glass tops are nice they protect the wood and keep the piece looking good for decades real nice china cabinet it's a two-piece uh really wasn't you know it's not too bad that's one that's easy to handle sometimes you get these china cabinets that weigh a thousand pounds but that's not one that's one that's uh it is doable miss anything here that's nice piece we really like this one this one's pretty cool the legs I don't know if you can see them they're kind of Asian inspired it has a real neat top to it glass on top protecting the top very kind of modern here's another modern circular table frosty glass on top that's a real nice piece uh, that piece there is real nice too and it was made in Italy it's got a sticker on the back we got good Ethan Allen furniture Ethan Allen comes up a lot Dixie it's coming up a lot that's a nice little uh, jewelry jewelry stand jewelry cabinet that'd be a cool show show off uh, well, whatever. That's nice. Display cabinet. Oh, this crazy table. And that glass is heavy. That's a big, big, big piece of glass. Look at those legs. That's a nice, sturdy piece. Back here, nine foot long plus. Put in the, put in the leaf and I guess it goes even longer. Awesome, gorgeous shape. Even got stuff from coming around the corner, so you know we got a lot of stuff. Look at that. Two display cabinets. Look at that wrought iron. That's beautiful. Put that on your porch. Even when it's windy, that ain't going anywhere. Here's that lighter stuff. A couple real nice twin beds. Look at those. Clean, clean. Both matching. That in your guest room. Real nice, clean rug. This couch is so clean, it might as well be brand new. This thing, you know, it is brand new, really. I don't think anybody ever even sat on this thing. It's uh, extremely clean. Very interesting, too. Kind of has an Asian-inspired design on it. It's nice. Need a king bed? Bam, got you covered. Got some real neat lamps back there. Check out the photos. Get some good looks at it. Tiffany style lamp and of course as always we've got oh look at that we got fake plants you don't even have to water those easy back there is some grills smoker 
Got charcoal grill, got your gas grill. All right. I'm running behind here. I'm running behind. We got this weird piece that was taken out of a wall, and there's the marble that goes on top. Uh, so much going on. Look at that. Nice, brand new Goodyear tire for and a wheel for a Nissan. So if you drive a Nissan and it's the same size of tire, you probably get it cheap, maybe. Nice. Five chairs going with this folding leaf table. Beauty, beauty. Got great stuff on the tables. So much I just cannot really keep spouting it off. Baskets, pottery, collectibles of all kinds. There's another ammo can. They're sporadically placed everywhere. I might have to snag one. I could use one. We'll see. Stuff on the floors. So as you can see, it's another real good one. As they always are. And if you don't know, you need to get down here and experience it. Every Thursday. Doors open at 5. Auction starts at 6. We'll see you there.